हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जे मेन्स 2018 केमिस्ट्री पेपर सॉल्यूशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कोड सी नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सेज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सॉल्ट्स इज द मोस्ट बेसिक इन एक्व सोल्यूशन द ऑप्शन गिवन आर सी एस थ्री सी डबल ओ के दैट इज पोटेशियम एसिटेट एफ ई सी एल थ्री फेरिक क्लोराइड देन वी हैव लेड एसिटेट देन एल्यूमिनियम साइनाइड Now, students, this question belongs to equilibrium chapter, specifically from salt hydrolysis. The option one, that is potassium acetate. This is a salt of weak acid with a strong base. So, on hydrolysis, it will be giving us potassium hydroxide, which is a strong base. FeCl three on hydrolysis gives us an acidic solution. If I talk about lead acetate. This is a salt of weak acid with a weak base. Aluminium cyanide also is a salt of weak acid with a weak base. Hence, the most basic solution will be option one, that is potassium acetate. So, answer for this question is option one. Now, let's move to the next question. The next question is which of the following compounds will be suitable for Jeldahl's method for nitrogen estimation. We have these options with us. Now, students, this question belongs to general organic chemistry chapter. Specifically, the topic, the principle of quantitative analysis. Now, as we know, in Jeldahl's method, what we do? We have the organic compound. In this organic compound, we add. Concentrated H2SO4. This gives us ammonium sulfate. This ammonium sulfate is very important for this method. Hence, formation of ammonium sulfate is required. Now, nitro compounds, azo compounds, and the compounds in which nitrogen is present in the ring will not give us any ammonium sulfate on treatment with h2so4 hence option 2 option 3 and option 4 cannot be the answer the correct answer for this question will be option 1 so i'm writing answer is option 1 Now let us move to the next question.